Now I'm going to be completely honest when I tell you I don't have much to say about this fight, but if I were to tell you that Andy Ruiz's key to beating Anthony Joshua is to stand in the middle of the ring and try to outbox Joshua, the man who outboxed Vladimir Klitschko, you might think I'm crazy. You might tell me Andy Ruiz needs to get on the inside and fight up close on the longer, taller Joshua. But the thing is, just because your opponent is much longer than you doesn't mean you have to turn into an inside fighter when you're not. And this performance from Andy Ruiz goes to show how good fundamentals and execution can take you all the way to the top. The most obvious key point is to not abandon your jab. Even though Joshua has the reach advantage, Ruiz still needs to keep Joshua from freely jabbing at him, and this jab also allows him to get into his range. Now I'm not going to sit here and tell you that Andy Ruiz was winning the jabbing battle with Joshua because he was not, but the point is that Ruiz was primarily looking to counter Joshua coming in. If Ruiz doesn't utilize the jab, then Joshua won't ever feel the need to do anything else besides jab outside of Ruiz's range. And I have a hard time seeing this fight turn out the way it did if Ruiz didn't utilize his jab. Watch how Ruiz shoots a step jab at Joshua's chest and remains defensively responsible by simultaneously slipping to the right, taking his head off center as he steps in. Here Ruiz is still trying to get into his range intelligently, and Joshua is still trying to keep Ruiz out of his range, so notice here how Joshua uses his lead hand to measure the range. Ruiz now knows that he is safe to step closer because Joshua can't reach him from this position. So we see Ruiz step closer at the tip of Joshua's range, but not quite into his own range yet. And this is to bait Joshua to throw a jab. And once Joshua takes the bait and throws the jab, Ruiz steps in with his own jab to Joshua's chest. And notice how he slips his head to the outside of Joshua's jab in order to remain defensively responsible. This counters Joshua's jab and doubles the power because Joshua was stepping into Ruiz's jab. Simple, but brilliant. Ruiz fought most of the fight in a neutral, balanced stance as opposed to fighting off of the front foot, as many would expect him to. Usually when fighters want to get closer to their opponent, they tend to stand heavy on their front foot because it's a very offensive stance. But the thing is, that makes them easier to time coming in, because you could time your punches when they step in. Case in point, Mikey Garcia tried to fight Errol Spence off of the front foot but could never find his range or his rhythm because Spence timed him off of his front foot. And this textbook, Balanced Stance keeps Ruiz balanced and thus makes him harder to time coming in. You see here how Ruiz steps in with a balanced textbook stance instead of being heavy on his front foot and is able to pull from Joshua's check hook because of it. Joshua tried to time Ruiz coming in, but Ruiz's stance, or his even weight distribution of his feet allowed him to pull and counter the much longer Joshua. Incredible. Now I'm showing you this example to further illustrate my point. Notice here how Andy Ruiz is more front foot heavy and more squared up because he's more offensive right now. And then you see him eat this left hook because he got timed coming in by Joshua. And again we see in a balanced stance, Ruiz steps in, is able to pull back and counter from the balanced stance. And then front foot heavy, he steps in and gets timed off of his front foot. You see the difference here I'm trying to illustrate. Now I'm not saying that fighting off the front foot is bad or that you shouldn't do it. It's just that when you always try to cut the distance while front foot heavy, you become predictable to your opponent and they can time you off of this. As always, if you like this video and want to see more, please click the red button to subscribe. And I'll see you guys all in the next one. Thank you all for watching. And that's real up and real deal, holy feel. And that you hook up and hoes know how I feel. Well, if it's good enough to give up a proper chunk, I'll take a small piece of some of that funky stuff. It's like this and like that and like this, and it's like that and like this and like that, and it's like this and like that.